Hi everyone, welcome to the Jada and Stitches show and welcome to a special spotlight on Canadian made yarn. I've got four different kinds of yarn from four different yarn manufacturers right here in Canada that I cannot wait to introduce you to today. Today's video is not sponsored. This is yarn that I went looking for and I bought because I liked it and I am looking forward to sharing it all with you. Now we've got to have links to the websites for all four of these yarn manufacturers. We're going to have them in the description box down below. So if you want to check out any of them a little bit further, you're more than welcome to. I've got yarn from New Brunswick, Nova Scotia and Prince Edward Island today. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. <laughs> the first manufacturer I want to introduce you to today is Briggs and Little. Briggs and Little are from New Brunswick. I have been using Briggs and Little wool for about 20 years on and off, so they've been around for a while. And recently I picked up two balls from their Regal line. Both of these are the same. They are meadow green. It's a really pretty color. It's got flecks of blue and yellow in it. Um, has almost a bit of a seafoam green kind of thing going on in my opinion. And I do like that the natural color of the sheep wool kind of looks like it's coming through. It's got a sort of a tweedy look to it. Each of these balls of yarn were $7.25. That's Canadian. And if you're wondering what that translates to roughly where you are, you can go to Google and type in Canadian currency to and then your home currency and that will give you the day's conversion rate. So it will be pretty close. I only just bought these a couple weeks ago, but it'll give you an idea of how much you, I paid for it compared to what you might pay for it. Now having said that, if you do buy any of the yarns you see today from the manufacturers directly, and that is assuming that they can ship to you, I'm not sure that they can. <laughs> Once again, these are Canadian manufacturers. Um, you would have to keep in mind that not only would you be paying the price of the yarn, but there would be shipping and possibly tariffs and a few other things in mind. So keep that in mind whenever you're buying anything from outside of your own country. That said, BriggsandLittle.com is the website that you can visit if you want to see more of their yarn. And um, like I said, they've been around a while. I've been using them for 20 years on and off. The next yarn manufacturer I'm going to introduce you to is McCausland's Woolen Mills. So McCausland, McCausland's Woolen Mills. They're from Prince Edward Island. Now their website is McCausland'sWoolenMills.com. Again, we'll link that down below if you want to pop over and take a look. I have four balls of yarn from them. Each of these skeins is 100% wool. I've got a really pretty medium purple. I was excited to find this because I feel like lately I've had a lot of trouble finding really nice rich purple yarns. So I picked up a ball of that. Um, each of these balls of yarn were $6.95 Canadian. I picked up an orange. I've definitely got a Halloween thing going on here. So a purple, an orange. I picked up a really pretty um, green tweed. So I had to actually look that one up on the internet. That one's called Green Tweed. All of these are visible on their website. So if you um, want to get a closer look at them yourself, you can pop over and check out their website. I really like the Green Tweed one. It's got similar kind of color aspects going on to the, <clears throat> the Briggs and Little one that I got. There's kind of a mottled thing happening. The color isn't consistent, which gives it that tweedy look. And you can almost sort of see the sheep wool color coming through. So I picked up a ball of that. And the last one I have is, this one's pretty too, Blue Marble. So this one's kind of a gray blue mixed with a green color. Um, I like that. I like the idea of twisting two different dyed strands together. I think it gave it a really cool look. All four of those are 100% wool. They feel like wool. Um, they have that kind of almost you can sort of feel like there's always like a little, I wouldn't call it sticky, but there's like a, a bit of an, a, an oil or something that comes from handling sheep wool. It's not unpleasant, um, but you know you're holding something that's 100% natural. And wool makes great outerwear clothing. So if you have an allergy to wool, you probably don't want to work with it. But if you don't have an allergy to wool and you just sort of find it sometimes a little bit itchy, um, this is great stuff to make outer wear from. So slippers that you might wear socks under, or outer sweaters, or anything that you can line with something that doesn't bother your skin, or that wouldn't be naturally touching your skin anyway, like sweaters and jackets and stuff like that. Uh, sheep wool is amazing. It is, 
it keeps your heat in, it keeps the dampness out. Um, I mean, people have been making clothing out of wool for a long time. <laughs> um, and if you've never had a chance to work with any wool, then both of these are really nice options because 100% wool can sometimes be very expensive. Um, and these are, you know, Canadian manufacturers, they're making it themselves, um, and it's, it's a good price, I feel, for 100% wool um, that is really quite nice to work with. And that, that's McCoughlin's. McCoughlin's. <laughs> Gee, you'd think for somebody who is Scottish, I wouldn't have a problem saying that name. <laughs> All right, I've got two more yarn manufacturers here, and this is the slightly more expensive, the slightly more fancier yarn that I've recently picked up. Both of these gorgeous hand-dyed balls of yarn are by Ravenswood Fiber Company. So I'm going to show them to you a little more close up. I've got, uh, this one is in When Sparks Fly, that's the name, When Sparks Fly, and the other one is Fairy Dust. I mean, I couldn't have named those any more magically myself. Both of these balls of yarn are an 85-15% merino nylon mix. So they are soft, they are smooth. This, this is probably a size one, maybe a size two, light, fingering weight um, weight of yarn. So it's the kind of stuff you want to make a shawl or a really pretty um, cowl or something out of. It's really fine yarn. But it's just so gorgeous the way they have hand dyed these. I love this one, this green one. It's got little speckles of all sorts of things like pink and yellow and darker black and then there's nothing for a while and you're just looking at the white. I can't wait to get into both of these. I'm going to have to plan some really fancy projects for each, for each of them. <clears throat> Ravenswood Fiber Company can be located at ravenswoodfiberco.com. We'll link them down below as well. And they are manufacturing out of Nova Scotia. So Nova Scotia yarn, that's really fancy stuff. Each of these balls of yarn was $32 Canadian. So $32 each. But it's merino, nylon, and hand dyed. So you're paying for the artistry that goes into it as much as you are the materials. Really special yarn. Looking forward to making something out of it. Can't decide what yet, but when I saw it, I had to have it. And the last manufacturer I'm going to introduce you to today is Fleece Artist. I picked up a ball of their Floof, <laughs> which could not have been better named if I tried. This is in the color Rainbow, and it's got a pattern. It comes with a pattern for a headband. It's a knit headband but I can imagine that you might be able to crochet something a little simpler out of it. This is, what is this? 100% merino yarn. So 100% merino. Merino is a little more expensive than your regular sheep wool. Um, and it came in at $29.95. So it wasn't the most expensive ball of yarn I recently bought, but it was up there. Um, it's also hand dyed. You can visit Fleece Artist at fleeceartist.com. They're located in Halifax. Now they have a really nice website and they kind of explain all of their yarns and what goes into them and their coloring process and everything. Um, this is just the prettiest ball of yarn. Obviously I love rainbows and so when I saw this it just practically left off the shelf at me. <laughs> and I had to get it to put it in my collection. Um, there is how many we've got 125 grams, and considering the size of this, I would call this a size 6 weight. This is pretty thick stuff, so a size 6 weight. Um, 125 grams, I don't know how many meters or yards that would be, it doesn't actually say that on here. Um, but given the weight and the, the actual weight of the ball at 125 grams, I'd probably say there's likely maybe 50 yards maybe just a little less of that in there. So if I'm going to get a ball of if I'm getting a ball of this, it's probably enough to knit that headband. It might be enough to crochet a similar sized headband, but this is basically a one ball project for something small, uh, which I haven't yet quite figured out yet. I'm the type of person who sees ball of yarn, buys ball of yarn, puts ball of yarn on shelf and then comes up with a project <laughs> later. Uh, but it was so pretty, I absolutely had to have it. So I'm happy to invite that into my stash. In fact, I'm happy to have invited all four of these yarn manufacturers, uh, some new, one old, into my yarn stash. I will be hopefully coming up with some nice projects with the cooler months ahead. Um, this is all wool, so it's either sheep wool or merino wool. Merino is a kind of sheep, just a fancier sheep. <laughs> 
um, or like a wool blend, the merino nylon. So this is definitely what I would consider warm, warm yarn for cold weather. So I will be thinking about some projects for the cold weather coming up. And I like to work with this kind of yarn when it gets cold because it helps keep me warm and when you're sitting for a long time crocheting or knitting, you tend to cool off. Especially when it's snowing and blowing outside. <laughs> anyway, we hope you enjoyed that little miniature tour of Canadian yarn manufacturers from our East Coast today. And once again, we'll link all of their websites in the description box down below if you want to check them out and see if maybe they ship to wherever you are or just get an idea of what they're making up here in the Great White North. Um, and we will see you soon here on the Jade and Stitches show. Until then, stay safe, stay crafty, and have a wonderful week. Bye, everybody. Hi, everyone. This is Mama and Stitches. Thank you for watching. Here are a few other videos you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe, and you can also click the like button and the bell. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.